What's going on everybody? Spider Monkey here and this is my video entry into Funko J's 100 subscriber giveaway. Uh, absolutely amazing channel. Does an awesome job. Incredible production value behind the videos that he does. Uh, talks about Funko Pops, does some vlog videos, uh, some unboxings. Amazing guy. I'm going to put a link in the description to his channel so you can go check it out. Don't forget to like and subscribe while you're there. But uh, 100 subscriber giveaway, the requirement. Uh, I, of course, have liked. I am now a subscriber, and you've got a couple questions that I need to answer. And first one was, how did I find your channel? Well, you found me, actually. <laughs> you uh, commented on a couple of my videos. We had a couple short conversations. Uh, then I you know, came to your channel, checked you out, became a subscriber, and that's how that went. But thank you so much for finding me. Because, man, I love your channel. Your videos are amazing. Number two, DC or Marvel? Man, that's uh, growing up, I was just into superheroes in general. Of course, I had, back in that time, at that age, early 80s, late 70s, early 80s, uh, television had two channels where I lived. And uh, they came from opposite directions. So if you wanted to change channels, somebody had to go outside and turn the antenna. And uh, Saturday mornings, uh, I never grew out of it because <laughs> uh, there was, you know, Spider-Man cartoons, uh, Batman TV show, the Super Friends, uh, Spider-Man and his amazing friends, you know, with Firestar and Iceman. And I loved it all. But then as I started to collect comics, uh, man, it's, uh, I loved it all. But at the younger age, I, I was. I was more about Marvel, which Marvel was more of more, I guess, action-oriented. Uh, Marvel always had the most cutting-edge artists, because that's what I'm breaking it down to. I had to put a lot of thought into this, because I love them both so much, and I had to get kind of scientific and mathematic <laughs> with narrowing it down to just one specific over the other. And what I came up with is, like I said, Marvel was more, it was action, had the most cutting-edge artists and artwork in their comics. Uh, and DC always had the best writers. There was a, it was a, a much more dense, a lot more depth to the characters and the storylines. Uh, Marvel was like was more Michael Bay and Tony Scott, and then DC was more like Christopher Nolan and Ridley Scott. And as I got older and started to mature, I started to move more uh, towards DC. The best comic book story I ever read, hands down, just absolutely amazing. That kind of started to pull me over into DC was the Emerald Twilight story when Hal Jordan, the most iconic of the Green Lanterns, which Green Lantern was my favorite DC character. Hal Jordan um, goes rogue, turns evil, and then, uh, you know, the they end up, you know, passing on a ring to Kyle Rayner. Uh, I don't, for a short time, he wasn't Green Lantern for a real long time, but that was just an amazing storyline. And that I started to lean more towards DC. But for the most part, growing up, especially at first, uh, collecting comics, I just kind of would starve through the week. I would save my lunch money for school. <laughs> and on the weekends, we were at a buddy's house, going to town and uh, stopping the comic shop. and just Or a drugstore or something where they had, you know, the little spinning comic book rack. And I would just kind of grab whatever looked good to me. You know, it's, uh, at youngest age, I didn't really follow anything. It's, you know... One Saturday, I'd grab a Batman comic. The next Saturday, I'd grab an X-Men comic or a Spider-Man comic. But, and then, of course, DC always had the most amazing graphic novels. Uh, the Batman graphic novels like Son of the Demon uh, and Watchmen. Uh, when I first read Watchmen, it actually absolutely blew my mind. Just, uh, just changed the way uh, I looked at comics, the way I thought about comics, what I looked for in comics. Watchmen, absolutely phenomenal. And then, of course, when they made the Watchmen movie, I thought there's no way they are going. As I was, <laughs> I was bashing the movie a year before it even came out because I thought there's no way they're going to take this graphic novel and put it into a two, three hour movie and even come close to scratching the surface of what makes this graphic novel so amazing. And then when I think we went and watched The Dark Knight and they played the, that was the first time I saw the trailer. For the Watchmen, I could just tell by the imagery in the trailer. I was like, "Oh my God, <laughs> I think they might have done it." And they did. It's it's my favorite uh, 
Watchmen of course was recognized by Time Magazine as one of the top 100 novels of all time and for that to happen uh, for a comic book to be recognized as one of the greatest novels of all time is just absolutely phenomenal. My favorite movie adaption of all time. They did such an amazing job. And uh, so I guess they, I'm rambling. <laughs> I guess I'll cut this short to the chase. And I have to go. Spider-Man is my boy. My uh, favorite childhood superhero. But as far as comic books go and the comic book publishing uh, side of it, DC all the way. DC is amazing. So that said, uh, that answers the questions. Again, man, absolutely awesome channel. Love it. Love your videos. Look forward to seeing more in the future. And uh, like I said, uh, for everybody else, I'm going to put a link in the description to Funko J's YouTube channel. You've got to go check it out. And uh, don't forget, while you're there, like his videos, become a subscriber, show him some love in the comments, tell him Spider Monkey sent you. And uh, hopefully, in a very short time, man, Uncle Jay, when you announce the winner, I'll see you then.